And I wanted to share this piece. This was delivered in 1952 uh, by Yoranda, and it was entitled The Creative Value of Words. And I'm not going to read the whole excerpt. I'm going to read this one piece out of it, which is so potent. And this is what Yoranda says. Why has our program not moved ahead any faster than it has? Because there's not yet been a deep enough, vital enough realization of the importance of the words that are spoken. For every word which carries any feeling whatsoever is a creative word. If it is a feeling of anger, fear, suffering, or of any other ill thing, then it is creative of that which is spoken. If you have ill conditions, by all means, use your capacities to create more ill conditions. Isn't that sensible? By all means, let the words of your lips and the feelings of your hearts destroy what has been built and create more problems, difficulties, obstacles. You can tell in what Yoranda is saying there, there's a little bit of sarcasm there. It's like, go ahead, use that word. Use it to, to mess things up. You know, the, uh, the truth is when we become more and more conscious, when we become more and more aware of that power, because it is a power. If we're made in the image and the likeness of the divine, which we are, the word was with God. That is, the word is vibration, right? And we have this power in us. So our hearts are vibrating, our minds, our thoughts. So when the, the heart and the mind come together and speak in a creative way, speak from a place of, of love and creation, all sorts of magic can happen. I've seen so many demonstrations of prayer in, 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 that is to me a demonstration of the word. And if you look around in our culture, you can see where the unconscious words that are spoken. I mean, take a look at social media. Did anybody ever do that? And you come along some dramatic scene, you know, in the human uh, culture where people are screaming at you, each other and calling each other's names and you can just feel it. If you're in your body, it's, it's interesting because like once you uh, kind of let that go out of your life and it's not really a part of your life, you can really feel it in your body, you can feel it. And it's like, okay, next post, please, you know, move on from there. And so I'm just looking at this time of what is happening in our world. And I, and I suppose for me, the, the, um, the thing is to become even more aware of, of how I'm speaking in my day-to-day -day life. But even more importantly, how can I bring the power of the word to my world even more, even more? 